Dear students, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today I am going to discuss uh, about different chapters. Uh, okay, dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to discuss uh, different chapters of, uh, uh, of your uh, final year project uh, uh, report writing. So because uh, most of the students uh, of mine are having difficulty in writing their chapters. So I want to discuss you, but it is not hard and fast rule. I'm just going to give you some uh, different guidelines to how to write your uh, research paper or your uh, project report properly. But it doesn't mean that uh, you have you uh, you must have to follow this. You can do amendments according to your supervisor's requirement. It's up to you, but it is the guideline if you are having having difficulty in understanding what are the things you have to discuss in the in different chapters so i want to i just want to clear your concept that which chapters uh, have uh, have different uh, which topic and which chapter have diff this topic so i just want to clear the concept it doesn't matter it doesn't mean that uh, i am going to pressurize you you have to follow it it's, it's simple guidelines uh, it will uh, obviously it will help you in writing your chapters in your in your report writing so i am going to discuss with you it's my own conference paper which i have done in my masters so uh, the title of my project was finite element modeling of surface treated flexible pavement at response to tractor tire so uh, this was the first page of my uh, report uh, and then i have this uh, i wrote the department and uh, uh, in which year it has done in which month then again uh, there is a title and obviously uh, uh, there must be the monogram in the center of your first page so you should provide it accordingly and these pages should be uh, numbered like in roman and then you have the page of certificate and then you have to provide independent study project your supervisor and then i am moving towards the table of the contents you can provide the table of contents like this it's a, a, a different universities have different types of guidelines and different types of formats as well but uh, um, uh, what I want to say over here that uh, there is not, not a lot of difference between the uh, between your format so you can consider it and uh, also compare it with the uh, guidelines which you have given in your university as well so uh, that uh, I am sure it will be also helpful helpful for you as well so I am going to discuss these are different chapters and I write the topics as well here you can see chapter one is the introduction chapter two is the literature review and there are the number a page number is also given to you in the table of contents and chapter three is the finite element modeling of flexible pavement so obviously you you have whatever you are doing you should provide in chapter number three so it must be based on your methodology chapter number three in uh, mostly depends on upon your methodology so what you have to do it's uh, uh, i was doing finite element modeling of flexible pavement so uh, here you have to provide uh, whatever the topic you are doing so for example if you are doing any testing so you should provide the title of chapter number three accordingly it's up to you so now i am moving towards another chapter and there is uh, which is chapter number four i have discussed lots, uh, lots of things in chapter number three then i have chapter number four that is based on results and analysis then i am moving towards the chapter number five uh, which in which i have done model validation validation then uh, in chapter number six i have discussed about the conclusion and recommendation as well so what i want to discuss over here When you have done model validation, then you have to go move on chapter number six, that is conclusion and recommendation. Then you have appendix, appendix A and B, it's up to you what are the tables are left related to your project, you should put it into the appendixes. Then we have references, now moving towards the list of the tables which I have uh, included in it and I put it here. So according to the page number, I, I put it here all this then the list of figures whatever the figures i have decided i uh, put in the, my report so all the figures are here names of the figures are here 
so you can see uh, their page numbers are written in front of it so these are the table of the contents now i'm moving towards the abbreviations which are the abbreviations in cup is coming in my report writing so i will put it up it all the abbreviations are here so these were the abbreviations i have used in my uh, report writing then i have acknowledgement it's up to you how can you write it down so you can do it so accordingly uh, so i am moving into the next page and there is a abstract abstract uh, you should write in the start but you should write it at the end of your project so because it is this basically the it's a kind of summary of your project so you should uh, provide the background in it introduction but not in detail you should uh, describe it in a is small uh, is small length and you should not uh, write it as uh, there were there are so many lines in the abstracts for example you are writing uh, two or three page uh, uh, for the abstract so it's not like this this uh, you can see there is only small a paragraph is given here for the abstract it's up to you you have to decide it but it is not too big as a uh we have to discuss that uh, we are going to write a chapter on abstract so it's not like that it is basically it defines uh, and it will give you the uh, whole idea of your project so it should be uh, precise and it should be very understandable to the audience or whoever is reading readers uh, uh, should get an idea of your project from this basically th uh, that is the aim of this abstract so i am moving towards the next uh, page and what i have there is a dedication you will provide it here uh, and then i am coming to the chapter number 1 so this is introduction and then uh, we have to discuss about the background why you are doing this research and what are the causes behind uh, uh, behind uh, you are doing this project so you should write it here so i have discussed that uh, in pakistan how uh, why uh, i was uh, going to uh, Uh, do this project or research work because uh, as a uh, tractor trolley tires are using uh, a lot in uh, our rural areas especially uh, farm to market road so i have discussed all these things and uh, so uh, roads are affected due to the use of the uh, wide base tires so our roads are not designed accordingly so i have discussed uh, the whole idea or the background before starting this project so in introduction i have discussed about the background of the research work and then i am moving towards uh, uh, to the next paragraph is that this is also again on the uh, background it is i have discussed in it then i have uh, discussed the pavement that damage how much uh, damage has occurred due to wise base tied uh, i have discussed here what are the drawbacks behind it then i have discussed what what are the objectives of this research paper so i have discussed here it is in chapter 1 then what i have discussed here scope you can also provide limitation is here then i have i have discussed a small amount in points in methodology it's up to you some teacher doesn't want uh, to have methodology in chapter number 1 so it's okay if you don't want to put it but it's quite good when you if you provide methodology in uh, precisely here so uh, the reader will get a, a small idea of uh, uh, of the steps you have followed in methodology of your research work then you are moving to the chapter number 2 and this is the literature review most of the students are having difficulty in understanding what they have to write in the literature review actually this is the main issue what they have to write it down in the literature review because they don't have sufficient background or uh, uh, sufficient practice or experience uh, on this chapter so uh, what i think so uh, students should be guided properly according to uh, uh, that what they have to write down in the literature review so i must tell you over here uh, for example whatever the research you are going to do so before doing that research you have to look after the what are the work and research has been taken place before uh, before doing your research so you have to search it out you have to read different uh, variety of research papers but all the research papers should be based on your own research as well i am sure that or not uh, i am not going to uh, tell you that uh, uh, you uh, all the 
research paper must be like that that your uh, uh, according to your research work but mostly related to your research work so you can take an idea or get an idea from those research papers that how you can do your research how can you perform your texting and what are the values they got it when they did the, their research in their environment so what are the values you are getting from your own environment so uh, you can do proper comparison and you can get an idea as well what are the environmental constraints of those research papers because because they have their own constraints and you have your own constraints as well so you should read how did they uh, how they have done their research work so you will get a proper idea before doing your research paper and you can also chalk down your research whatever you are going to research it so you should uh, write down in the points that what are the things you have to follow what are the steps you have to follow what are the method method you have to uh, be uh, you have to uh, follow before doing your research work and uh, if you need some material for testing if you uh, if you have to go for, uh, for the site investigation before doing that research so you can get proper idea for uh, before uh, doing your own research so you should read different research papers related to your own research work so for example uh, here what i have done in chapter number 2 i have to write down different research paper work in paragraph form for example you read one research paper and you have read completely the whole research paper of that and you have to summarize that research paper how that in re that research work uh, they have done their uh, testing what are the methods they follow for this type of testing and what are the results and conclusion they get from their research so you should write down in a single paragraph or you can you, you can also say that you should summarize your research that research work that research paper so what you have to do for example here in introduction i wrote it several researcher elucidated and described mechanism and methodology methodology of 3d finite element modeling of pavement structure so i have just started here and i have given the introduction for example i was using the abacus software different research papers were using also adina bisar can pave and so on They, these are the software of pavement analysis and design so this chapter represents the presentation of of some of the research works you can see here of different literatures regarding finite element modeling of different tire configurations on flexible pavement structures so i am moving towards the next paragraph and you can see that i wrote the name of the writer here this is glermo thanox used light falling weight deflectometer to perform in situ measurements of the elastic moduli for granular soil layers obviously it uh, you don't understand it what i am reading here but you can see that i uh, i read this research paper this was the writer and uh, what he did which method he followed which type of uh, uh, testing he has done i put it here how many types of layer he has taken what type of pavement structure he selected what the paper evaluated what he, uh, what uh, he concluded so i wrote it in a single paragraph over here so uh, uh, most of the uh, most of the students are worried what they have to write down in the literature review part so i am telling you that what you have to do you have to read the uh, research paper and you have to summarize that research summarize that research paper within a paragraph or maybe into the 10 to 20 lines so it is enough for it to describe any research paper so you should discuss it here then i am moving towards another research paper there was imad al qadi written by in 2008 he wrote, what he has done he made a comparison between the finite element model with layer theory and finite element model with the pavement responses observed and measured data from the field what he did acted what are the conclusions he made it he drawn it so i put it here and i wrote it down so i am not going into the depth detail what I, uh, what type of project i have done what research i have done over here i just want to give you a 
an idea about what you have to write it down in the literature review part so then i have discussed about uh, Lu uh, roberto f source 2008 perform what he did in the research where these are all the research paper related to my own research area so i have discussed here what he did if he uh, uh, what are what are the damage he got it uh, how much damage occurred due to uh, white based tires and what uh, what are the damage occurred uh, due to conventional tires so i have discussed in this paragraph then another research paper like this then another research paper you can see there are different research papers are discussed in the paragraph format so you should write all the uh, papers which uh, which you read it it's up to you how many papers you read it for example if you are using you uh, if you are reading five papers so you should discuss all the five papers but it is must that you have to read all the research papers properly so you will get the idea what are the methodology and methods you have to follow before doing your own research work so you can see this uh, 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 whatever the research papers i read it i put i chalk down the idea and the uh, methodology what they what they follow so i discussed over here you can see how many uh, paragraphs i wrote it here now it's a summary of chapter number 2 so what i have to tell them that significant progress in both modeling strategies have been made in past years so you have discussed it like this so you have to now summarize your this chapter so how can you summarize uh, uh, summarize your chapter uh, actually you are trying to find your find out your research gap and support why your research is important and what others haven't done yet so what you have to do you have to uh, discuss about about all the papers and what have you, uh, what you uh, what the idea you get it and what are the research gap uh, in their uh, research papers so what are you going to do it so you should provide your own idea here and why you are doing it for example uh, these research have been made in a uh, abroad but uh, this research is not uh, is not done in your uh, area or in your country till yet so that's why you have chosen uh, this uh, project so you are doing this research so you should discuss all over the things here but should be in two to three paragraphs you have to summarize it so you concluded it basically so you have to do what you uh, if you are uh, if i sum up uh, chapter number two what you have to do you are trying to find out your research gap and support why your research is important or significant and what others haven't done yet so you have to discuss chapter number 2 like this and then i am moving towards the chapter number 3 it is basically a methodology so what i have to uh, tell here this chapter presents the finite element modeling of bituminous flexible pavement as far concrete pavement so what is the method i have followed here for example i was doing uh, modeling on uh, uh, abacus software so what i have done here so whatever the modeling i have done in what way i have done so I I have discussed in this chapter number three. So, for example, uh, in the starting, I have discussed about the flexible pavement because I was doing testing on the flexible pavement. So, I have dis uh, discussed the definition of the flexible pavement according to H2, and in different papers, uh, what were the uh, construction of Maravis? Who made, uh, who uh, constructed a flexible pavement for the first time? So. different things i have discussed here what are the different rapid development of automobiles was occurred so i have discussed uh, uh, introduction here regarding my project and uh, about the pavement type pavement uh, layers as well flexible pavement layers i have put the typical cross section of flexible pavement structure then i have discussed different layers of the uh pavement flexible pavement structures here so these are the things you have to discuss over here uh, then i have discussed the conventional what is conventional flexible pavement here what is layer system here so different theories i have discussed which are uh, i uh, which is related to my project basically so where i have taken it so i put it also here 
so load distribution how load distributes in a flexible pavement structure then i have discussed what is the contact area how uh, what is the formula for the contact area i have discussed here i have draw, drawn the diagram as well here damage analysis criteria failure analysis equivalent axial load uh, factor i have also discussed it here so these are the formulas related to formula related to my project as well i have discussed here then what i have discussed here uh, whatever the modeling i have done on a abaca software different tabs in the uh, abaca software related to uh, my uh, pavement designing or tire i have designed or simulated in abaca software so i have discussed all the parts of my software here uh, and also the method which i uh, which i was following it so i have this because its background and uh, what is the definition of final element method for uh, according to different research paper from any book what i have taken uh, what are the phases i have to follow for finite element analysis so i have discussed all the things about my own method uh, about the method which i have which i uh, on which i was doing my research work so then i have discussed what final analysis software abacus the importance of it, this software what is this software it's a, how can i start abacus software how can i model a uh, pavement structure on the software what is title bar menu bar different tabs of uh, my uh, software here i have this uh, uh, i uh, sh uh, i uh, presented also the picture of uh, the desktop or the desktop of the abacus software here result tree toolbox area these are the all the tabs of my software for example if you are doing your testing so you have to uh, for example if you are doing compression testing so what you have to do you have to tell about the uh, uh, testing machine compression testing machine is what what is its uh, 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 least count and all that uh, in uh, what is the weight you have to follow different things you have to discuss about related to your apparatus as well how much time you will take it how many days you have uh, uh, spent for curing and all that you have to discuss about this in this chapter so problem description is here building the model how can you model uh, i how did i provide the material properties in the software if uh, uh, your project uh, is related to the is uh, based on the software so you can do it like this if your uh, project is related to the testing so what you have to do i i already told you you have to discuss about your testing machine you have to discuss how can you do a test uh, do your test what size you have to take it what are the materials you have taken how can you mix it all you have to discuss over here so this this chapter is basically based on it now i'm moving towards the chapter number 4 what you have to discuss over here results and analysis so in chapter number 4 what i have discussed whatever the results i have uh, got it from my own software uh, on which i was Uh, doing my research work so i put it here where fa payment failure occur effect of tire configuration i have discussed result cases for comparison through contour technique i have discussed here these are the uh, diagrams or pictures i have taken from my own software which i have uh, I, i actually basically i have done simulation on the software na so i have taken different soft uh, different pictures from the software and uh, i place it here and uh, if you have done your testing in the lab so what you have to do you have to place your picture of testing here so you can provide it like this and you can also provide the graphs as well whatever the uh, values you get it so you should pro not you should not provide it into the tabular form i think it should be in paragraph from in uh, chart form or in graph form so it will be uh, uh, it will uh, it will reduce the time of the reader as well and it will uh, it will show the proper comparison between the values as well so i think it's very good way to describe your uh, work in the graph form and it will take uh, readers interest as well so you can provide it like this and uh, in every graph you have to discuss uh, uh, there there should be one paragraph for the, to discuss about the values you are getting in this graph 
so you should uh, uh, write down uh, about the comparison between the values you got it so you have to discuss uh, in a graph uh, uh, after showing after displaying or after putting the picture of the graph then you have to discuss about that graph so i uh, discuss about the, gra uh, the graph what what is happening and what is the comparison uh, and what are the values i am getting so i will show it here so uh, now you can see that then I, and after every graph i have discussed that graph also so this is the good or better way to discuss uh, about your results and whatever the values you are getting it you should place it and you should describe it as well because you are writing chapters or report writing you are doing your report writing it's not your uh, uh, presentation so what you have to do you have to discuss about the uh, graphs here even uh, pictures you have to discuss it which uh, which type of testing you are doing for example if you have placed any testing pictures so you have to discuss about your testing as well so whatever you have done in the graph you have you want to show it so you should discuss it as well so now uh, what you have to be uh, you have to summarize this chapter also at the end you have to write to sum up it is to be noted that you have to use these types of words so now i am moving towards the chapter number 5 there is a model validated validation i don't know whether you have it right now or not so uh, if it is required so you should do it otherwise i am moving towards another chapter and what i have done after that there are chapter there is chapter number 6 uh, it may be if you do not provide model validation so there will be chapter number 5 so what you have to do here you have to write down the conclusion and recommendation what you concluded from your research work you have to write it down and uh, uh, then you have to provide the recommendation as well so you are suggesting something to the uh, uh, whatever your research is uh, what are the uh, who can uh, get benefit of your research so you should write it down here and uh, what you want to suggest it uh, whether you uh, you feel that uh, there should be more work on this research or not you have to provide it you have to write down in your suggestion so it's up to you whatever whatever you want to suggest it so you do it Uh, and discuss with your uh, supervisor external supervisor or uh, internal supervisor so it's up to you now there is an appendix what you have to do you have to you can provide different tables related to your project uh, in the appendix look what i i'm going to show you these are different tables uh, you can see it's up to you different values different uh, factors for example if you are using any coefficient or constant so you should write it down whatever the values you get it from your simulation uh, in tabular form so you can provide it for example if you have drawings civil engineering drawings related to your project you can provide it in the appendix as well so i am moving towards the references these are the references for example uh, whatever the material i have taken from anywhere in any chapter in any book in any research paper so i have to write it down all the things i like, for example in number 2 what you are looking at it there is a writer of the uh, research paper name of the writer is here year when it was published uh, this is uh, all those research papers which i read it and i put i put uh, uh, well, uh, writings uh, or definitions from their research papers or any type of for example in literature rep review i have taken material from there so whatever the research paper i read it so i ha should have to write down the name of the writer here year as well and the title of the of their research paper as well so you can see there are different uh, uh, names of the writers of the research papers here so you can provide it in the end so that's all for today i think it may be clear to all of you that how to write your literature review and uh, how to write down your chapters as well i think you will get the basic concept of writing of your chapter as well uh, so if i feel uh, that uh, uh, you need more help from my side in writing your chapter so i will provide more videos as well hopefully it, it will be helpful for you all of you guys so 
should be you should be uh, very careful by, while you are writing your chapters so i think that's it for all for today so